It's going to get worse. Suspending all travel. It's worst food. percentage drop since night. America, the anxious. One of the ways God speaks is through allowing circumstances into our lives and into our world that are not pleasant. He allows those circumstances to get our undivided attention. It's a wake-up call. The further you remove God from a life, a family, and a culture, the more chaotic things will become. Oftentimes, in the Bible and in the world, God will shake things. God allows disruption in the normal order of things. Life is going along like you prefer it, like you want it, like you desire it, like you love it. And all of a sudden there is an interruption in the affairs of normalcy. That's what God does all through the Bible. He would shake things up when he wanted to get our undivided attention. This pandemic has disrupted our lives, our work, our play, our sports, our travel, our fun. It has disrupted our gatherings. It has turned what was normal and made it abnormal. In fact, it's made it in some sectors very, very dangerous. It is because he's trying to get our undivided attention, which means we have wandered from him. We have marginalized him. God is not just interested in us singing a song, God bless America. He's not interested in only a pledge of allegiance to a nation. He's interested in a pledge of allegiance to himself. And the reason he allows a disruption is because he wants to create a new opportunity for his favor. That's why God will allow grief so that we might return to him. So he allows a bad day so that we can desire the sunshine again. And he has the sunshine ready to break forth. He's got folk talking who weren't talking to each other. I mean, we got folk in Washington trying to agree on stuff because they've been forced to because there's something bigger than them taking place that affects us all. You've got people wanting to help other people that they didn't think of before because they see the crisis. You've got people taking care about cleanliness, about responsibility, because we have been forced into it. God is forcing us to not just say we're one nation under God, but to start acting like we're one nation under God. This is not a time for fighting and arguing. This is a time to serve those who desperately need your help, the homeless and the helpless. This is the time to reach out and not be selfish with your goods and have to get it all for you when some can be left for someone else. This is the time when we can be kind to one another in our nation. And this is a time when we can glorify our great God. Your worry will dumb down when your kingdom commitment rises up. This pandemic, as bad as it is, is subject to a greater king who is in charge of a greater kingdom. Don't go another day without securing your eternal destiny and having divine help in time. And the way you do that is simply acknowledging that you need a savior because you're a sinner. Acknowledging that you can't save yourself because if you could save yourself, you wouldn't need a savior. So acknowledging you are a sinner, that you need a savior, and going to Jesus Christ who died on the cross as your substitute, who rose from the dead, and who offers you the free gift of salvation if you would simply receive him as your personal substitute. You do that right now and you become part of the the kingdom that cannot be shaken. You surrender and now learn to live under him and then you will grow in your faith and not be shaken by what's shaking everybody else.